Hi guys, this is Rocky D Rays back with another tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be talking about styles, adding styles to the elements that we have created so far. So if you have uh, seen the last two tutorials, you will uh, come across that we can create various kind of shapes and we can uh, create layers and stages using Converge.js. Converge.js is a pretty brilliant uh, framework and we can work around with it to create animations and tweenings and all kinds of stuff which we will be covering one by one in these tutorials. Alright so in this tutorial I will be talking about creating several uh, uh, styles so we have four styles as of now. So one of which we have already given which is called fill. We can fill an element with the color that we would, we would uh, like to fill it. In the last tutorial I also mentioned that we have something called HTML, uh, htmlcolorcodes.com where you can find various uh, colors of your choice, find the hex codes and give the color of your choice back in this uh, Converge.js uh, framework. So you can uh, go ahead and uh, open it up and there is the script file which we will be using as is, as I was already mentioning over here you start off with giving a script and you give the source as the link to the script and then create a division element give it an id I have given it bucket over here you can then create a stage give it a variable and then give a container followed by a width and height and after that you create a variable called layer you don't fill it uh, with anything you can fill it uh, but you don't uh, do it as of now so after that you create a shape uh, in our in our case it is a circle over here we have created a circle with uh, center uh, at uh, 200 comma 200 which means that 200 pixels towards the right as well as bottom from the starting point of the page which is the uh, leftmost point of the page that we see in the uh, right right side after that the last step is to add the circle to the layer and add the layer to the stage which completes our uh, representation so let's get uh, ahead let's talk about uh, various styles that we can give and let's uh, experiment with them one by one Alright, uh, I'll go to uh, HTML color codes, I've opened it up over here. So, when you go over there, you can find out various colors and you can find the hex codes as well as the RGB values and HSL values. You can also export a palette if you would like to and you can have various other options. You can work around with this uh, site and it is pretty useful. I found it really uh, wonderful in my projects as well as uh, several other design uh, UI uh, prototypes as well. Anyways, uh, so we have a color picker over here. So go ahead and pick any uh, any color of your choice and note down its hex value. So you get the hex value over here or here as well. So once I copy it down, I can go ahead and replace the screen with that color. So let's see what happens. Alright, so as you can see, uh, the color of our uh, shape has changed, our circle's color has changed. So, similarly, you can uh, go for several other colors. Anyways, this is how you work with the fill attribute. So, today we'll be talking about fill, stroke, and shadow as well as opacity. So, what uh, fill means is essentially filling the element with a color. So, this is something which we have done as of now. After this you can give a stroke as well so you go ahead and create a stroke so let's say a stroke of uh, whichever color you would like to give it so if I give something called black let's see what happens so alright so as you can see we have a black stroke over here a neat black stroke uh, if, if at all I don't want the black stroke I want something else I can go ahead again and I can pick up another color of my choice uh, let's say I pick up this color I copy it down and then paste it over here and let's see what happens okay so we see that the color of our stroke has changed as well similarly the other one that you can work around with is the stroke width simply go ahead and uh, type down stroke width with a capital W make sure that you uh, type it exactly this way or else it won't work alright so you can give uh, it any any stroke of your choice let's say 10 and see what happens okay you see that the thickness of our stroke has increased uh, pretty considerably so you can further increase it uh, to whatever extent you would like to increase so let's say 30 so we see that there's a very pretty thick circle over here although it is not uh, that uh, preferred so I'll go with something called uh, something about 9 
Here now I would like to even change the color of this so let's say I go with this color so let me go ahead and uh, change the fill first and let's see how that looks all right it's looking okay -ish, but I would go with changing the stroke all right so as you can see this isn't working at all so I would replace this with fill <coughs> and I'll replace this with the stroke Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, an odd shape over here. Uh, it's not an odd shape; it's an odd color combination. So once you start working around with say, several other color combinations, you'll get the proper uh, color uh, that you can give it. So you can consult a designer, or you can uh, read up about color theory as well, so that you can start experimenting on your own about all this. So I'll change this back to stroke and fill, so that you will get back to the. Uh, same page we will we'll get back to what we are supposed to be working on okay so after this uh, we can have something called shadows as well so what shadows are essentially is that it gives it, it, uh, gives the appearance that the icon is somehow about the air so it has certain it is casting uh, some shadow back onto the background so how you do that is that you create something called shadow offset and then followed by give an x for x axis so let's say 20 and let's see what happens all right so as you can see you have something creeping up uh, in the x direction which is a bit creepy so uh, let's give it uh, 40 so let's see what happens okay so similarly you can give it in the uh, y direction as well all you need to do is shadow offset y and then let's say 30 and let's see what happens okay so as you can see we have something uh, uh, which looks like a shadow but it's still very crisp and it is solid which is not giving an exact shadow feeling so what you can do is that you can blur the shadow by invoking another command which is shadow blur so let's say 40 all right so as you can see it has gotten blurred so you can uh, work around various other uh, values and see what happens so uh, if i have given 100 it works this way if I give 200 really uh, it blows up out of proportion so you can work around with various values and see what is working and what isn't so I'm thinking of going ahead with something around 50 all right so now that we are done with this the last thing that I'm uh, that I'll be covering in this video is the opacity so what, what opacity essentially is that it gives you okay you need to give a comma over here or else it won't work Opacity is uh, giving the uh, increasing or decreasing the transparency. So the more opaque uh, an object is, the less transparent it is. So let's say I give it the opacity as 0.7. All right. So as you can see, our button has gotten a bit uh, more a bit transparent. So you can see that the look is uh, pretty much better than what it was uh, looking before. You can go around uh, and play play around with various values until you are satisfied with your choice. So I give about 0.8 over here. So this is how I would like to create my uh, so-called circle, and then I can even uh, decrease the sizes or the centers, and you can see that it is getting cut. So I'll give it a radius of 50. All right. So as you can see, we have. Uh, circle over here so for this I can uh, set the shadow offset a bit lower so let's say 20 comma 10 let's see what happens okay so as you can see this is how you play around with several elements on your con uh, Kono JS. so go ahead and work with your uh, JS fiddles and send me the links below if you're working if you're coming up with anything I'll be more than happy to check around check your JS fiddles and comment back on them so that's it for this tutorial, I'll come back with several other uh, informative stuff, uh, wonderful stuff that Convo.js has to offer. So you can follow me on Twitter, you can subscribe to these videos as well as share and like them. So tell your friends about this if they are interested. Alright, thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.